Welcome to Lush by Laura. I'm Laura and today I'm going to show you how to do this quite simple but effective hairstyle that was actually inspired by a hairstyle where it's only the top section English braided towards the back but I decided to spice up the hairstyle and make it a little more interesting by doing Dutch lace braids going towards the back with different methods of pinning it towards the back to secure both of these braids together at the end so if you want to know how to do this hairstyle stick around and I will show you okay first we have to comb my hair thoroughly in order to not get it tangled during the braiding. Now we're going to split the hair into two sections to make it easy to deal with and grab a skinny section at the top of the head and do a Dutch lace braid. For those of you who haven't watched my Dutch braid video I will put the link in the description but basically to do a Dutch lace braid you split the hair into three sections and you braid underneath. You grab the hair on one section for this video the top section but don't grab more hair underneath and you continue doing that towards the back of your head for this tutorial because that's the look we're going for <laughs> so just to English braid it down for now and secure it with an elastic band temporarily to make it easier to deal with later and do exactly the same thing underneath. Now this is why we choose to do a Dutch lace braid so there's more hair to grab underneath so that the braids will be positioned closely together. So just untie the elastic band, grab where the Dutch lace braids end and loosen up the English braids and braid it into one English braid and secure it with an elastic band. Then we do exactly the same thing on the other side. Now usually this hairstyle will be a lot more neat but because in this corner of the room I don't have a mirror with me and I thought it would be the same doing it on a computer to doing it in front of the mirror but it's not. So if you want to do this hairstyle out I strongly advise you spend more time than I'm doing right now and you do it in front of the mirror. It's not a lot more time. It's just these little things that make it look a lot nicer at the end but I'm just basically showing you how to do it. So we do exactly the same on the other side. Now we go towards the part where we start pinning both braids at the back. So for the first strategy I'm going to crisscross the braids over and secure them with bobby pins like I said usually I'd be a lot neater if I had more time and a mirror so we want to make the bobby pins as invisible as possible securing it all the way around to make it not come out and you can take both of the elastic bands out at the end and put it in a low ponytail job with two braids or you can just loosen it out and do one English braid down And that is pretty much it. Hope that helped you. Hope you like it. And don't forget to subscribe. See you later.